new weapon. Gibraltar KX027 slash 4. This is the second day we have it. I had it yesterday all day. It's got delivered two days ago, but I haven't used much then. So I had a full day on it yesterday. Um, just to get the hang of it. It's pretty much the same machine what we have. Just a new version. The same size, same capabilities. But a lot of cool upgrade on it. We'll show you more about it. So our brand new mini nigger. It's got twenty three point. 8 hours on it now so far it's been uh, had it for a couple of days um, I thought I'd just start using it before uh, I make any video of it Flood, that river is comes out and goes into the pond. 
and they really worry about losing fish. So uh, um, I do. I feel that bend here is not really the reason for hauling the river back because it's not a problem that uh, water comes into the pond. The problem is if uh, the fishes uh, get out of it. So um, I feel that bend here all the way along the riverside as you can see goes along all the way back to the front where it's damp a bit and um, now I'm just uh, putting some topsoil on it um, make it a bit look uh, tidier not really necessary but eventually some, some, some sort of vegetation will grow on it that will help it hold it together a bit stronger I really like in that one. It's got a, it's got that um, foot pedals for the tracking, which the older one hasn't got. Well, it's got some sort of something, uh, but it's not, it's not really usable. I do like that feature. I think it's just so handy. Uh, you can track along and uh, operate the machine at the same time. Which is a football there, um, it's got a type Y and some planings on the top. We destroyed it most of it, but I tried to clean it up or left. Put the uh, wet um, stuff on that, uh, on that dam I just uh, built here. Keep that tidy and some topsoil on it. So like I said, something eventually start growing on it, some grass or weed or whatever. And we keep it all together. Clean the up with the edges here. We don't have to run there anymore. We can run the dumper on the outside, outside of it um, when it gets here. Yeah, perfect, perfect job for the mini digger, really. Lovely size, there is. I just love these. It's a two and a half. Everything works as it should. Always stay like you expect from a brand new machine. It's got a bit wide, a ditching bucket on it than usual. The cab is a bit loud, to be fair. better day is not coming until next spring so it's not much of a point just to leave it we gotta make something out of it to be fair
brand new machine. I'm trying to be extra careful with these branches here all over the place. But even with the mud, uh, try not to make a mess of it. Uh, last week, as you do, uh, as you do, you get some muck on the blade. You can't help it, it's happened. And when it's all the way up and you turn around, you rub the counterweight in it straight away. So try to keep that down there. So I don't get the counterweight uh, tips. Or oh, even worse, scratch it with something on it. Um, yeah, and... But, you know, you carry it along, you forget about it. You try to truck kind of feel some resistance so uh, what you do lift the blade right up and yep I did uh, make the counterweight dirty just a tiny bit on the bottom line last week I cleaned it all off straight away uh, and there's no scratches whatsoever it was soft mud but yeah sketchy a bit like oh no it's a new digger you don't want to be the first to scratch it we got a few thing back and for it so um, that goes on to these proportional uh, joysticks one over them which will be quite cool I'm looking Jobs like that, it's, it's a tool. It's an absolute tool. Heavy digging, not really. Um, but for this, definitely. Looking forward to get it. We should have it. We should. We should have it this week. job but um, far as I know where uh, summertime or spring when the weather is nice they're super busy about fishing and uh, that's where they're getting their money so fair enough night getting winter time and uh, they are quiet so that's, for them that's the time for it we might have to going back in springtime just to do a little final touch-ups when it's not nice and dry but it wouldn't be a major um, work just a couple of well, not even a couple of probably just a day or two um, I mean it's like rubbish everywhere which is a kind of annoying and there's the topsoil I'll have to transport all the way to the end when I raised the dam up uh, as obviously I raised it with clay it wasn't top so I fuck all to be fair pardon me um, so it's not enough to put a decent layer on it so I'm gonna do that and then on the way out I will smooth up there nicely and just leave it until it gets hard enough to settle down so they can walk on it that's why I cleaned this edge up here because there is there was a footpath here and you can see there is still some type 1 and some planings on it uh, reasonably dry so it, I'm pretty sure you can walk on there nicely all the way around
clearly see where he's down here on the footpath. I did make that while I did here, so that's been dug down. For getting some clay for the dam, which eventually wasn't enough, so we ended up getting a bit more.